Chris, I know you probably would have liked to get the finish out there tonight. You know, you had some moments, but uh, still a win's a win. I guess give us, give us uh, you know, the feel right now of your performance. Um, I felt like I performed very well. You know, I went out and I showed a lot of the things I wanted to show. Uh, wrestled a little bit, got got a couple of takedowns, dropped them a couple of times. Um, overall, I, I what, you know what without getting the finish, getting two 10-8 rounds is just just as close. Yeah, it looked like you were trying to set up something spectacular through the night. I mean, it, were, you, were your coaches okay with that, or were um, they frustrated with it? They, yeah, they they know how I am. I'm, I'm I'm flashy with my talking, flashing with the fighting. Um, but he, he he like we he's a local guy. We know of each other, so he's seen a lot of me. He he defended the high kicks pretty pretty well. Um, uh, uh, he posted a, about a month and a half ago about defending the flying knee. Notice I didn't even throw any, and. Uh, so I know he was waiting for that too. I kind of was reading him, so uh, I, I didn't even fake any of them too. So. Yeah, it does snap a losing streak for you, right? I mean, does, does that does it feel like you know kind of a much needed result or take a take a load off your shoulders? Uh, a big load. You know, the last time I won was in this building last year or December of 2018. So it, it's been a while. So just hearing you know, Curtis uh, that I won, that's that's awesome. And I guess last thing for me, I mean, I guess you can call your shot now, right? What's next? I mean, the uh, you're kind of. You know, had some choice words for MVP uh, earlier. I mean, what, what, what do you think makes I, sense for you? I still want that, man. It, 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 it's up to him. It's clearly up to him because everybody knows I want the fight, both in Bellator and him. Um, so, but, you know, I, I want exciting matchups. Uh, like I said, I was saying uh, in, during media day, Jackson, um, I wouldn't even mind uh, Ed Ruth. You know, I got to – I have to beat the kind of guys that have been my Achilles heel this, throughout my career. That's the only way I'm going to get what I deserve. Curtis, you're obviously making your Bellator debut. It's still fighting in a cage, but in a new place. Does it feel like a new job when you fight for a new promotion, uh, uh, or is it just the same thing, just different level? Uh, it, it's still a fight. You know, uh, it's uh, no matter where the organization, no matter who the ref is, no matter what it is. As long as I'm fighting, it's all gonna be the same. Now, uh, you know, we talked about it. it's the beginning of the year. You got the victory. I mean, in terms of just waking up this morning, were the nerves feeling good? Was there any excitement um, to just finally get things back on track? You know, I, w I felt good all day yesterday, all day today. It wasn't <clears throat> until about five minutes and before I left my the dressing room, and that's when I was like, I kind of went went like cold, and I, I made my coach hold me for me, and I started getting nervous. I was like, I don't, I don't get nervous, I don't get shook, so, but I had to just pump back up a little bit. Curtis, this fight was at one eighty. People you're talking about a one seventy, where you always competed. Are we looking at <coughs> one seventy exclusively, or are you also thinking about eighty five? Um, I'm uh, one seventy is home, but uh, actually, you know, I wouldn't mind fighting eighty five. Like Joe Schilling, that's 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 why I was stuck at, in this eighty eighty five thing. I originally wanted to fight Joe Schilling. I thought I was going to fight him. So um, if I can get a Joe Schilling fight at 85, that would be fun. But 70 is where it's at. <clears throat> I ran into you at a grappling tournament a few months back. You're working your game. How much improved are you over, let's say, a couple of years ago? How important is this? I'm way more improved. I, I almost had that darts. I heard them I heard them gargling a little bit, but it was a short time. And I just wanted to hold on a little bit. So um, I'm working. That's why I had that big smile on my face. If you guys see me get up after the second round, I had that big smile. Because it's like, yo, I've been working. And uh, – this, this is what I can do. Absolutely. Last question for me. You you faced the highest level competition out there. Really. So you, I think, are <coughs> someone that would be considered a top contender right now. Would you feel comfortable if they started throwing the best people at you right away, or did you want to get a little bit more acclimated here in Bellator? Uh, absolutely. I'll fight anybody. The only person I won't fight on this planet is my dad. So uh, unless it's my pops, fuck everybody. <laughs> and, all right, and it looks like your leg took a little bit of damage. Do you think it's real bad, or do, do you think that's going to be? Uh, I'll be fine. Ice it a little bit, and that's from me kicking. I, I knew this is this is what I say all the time. I, I know I'm not going to be able to walk at my after, at my after party, yeah. so um, it, it's what I go through every fight. So it, it is what it is. Turnaround could be March. In a few months. March, yeah. I'm I'm looking to go through March. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Have a great night.